G'day, I'm Mark from Pace Exercise Physiology. I'm going to take you guys through a few tests to screen your swimmers with. Uh, so looking at preventing or better managing injuries in your athletes. I'll show you three easy tests you can do and then three corrective exercises which would form part of an overall rehabilitation or performance program as part of the, the Pace experience. So our first test is looking at reducing injury rates of uh, swimmer shoulder or upper back pain. So what we're going to do for this one is a combined extension test. So our athlete's just going to have his hands out in front with thumbs interlocked, head rest on the floor, and we're just looking at how high he can lift his hands up off the floor. Good, and relax back down. Try one more time. So for the general population we need about 20 degrees, for swimmers we need to be up at about 40 degrees, so this would be a positive test. We just saw Ryan fail the combined extension test, which means he's predisposed to a shoulder injury as he doesn't have that mobility through thoracic spine to be able to take that arm out and stroke. So our two first exercises that we go to to improve his mobility is a thoracic rotation, which he's going to demonstrate for us now. And these are a great exercise to throw in um, after work, before you swim, after you swim, and with any gym or dry land training that you may be doing, so that we improve that rotation through thoracic to allow our arm to drive through further. We try this for about 90 seconds to 3 minutes to mobilise the joint. Our second exercise Ryan's going to demonstrate for us is with a foam roller. And we're going to be looking at improving extension. So as we improve extension through thoracic, it allows us to get that arch through our back to again be able to drive that arm without placing extra stress through the shoulder joint so we're avoiding things like an impingement or swimming the shoulder. So Ryan's just going to place his hands behind his head, he's going to keep his chin tucked and his pelvis scooped under so he's not fooling himself by extending through lumbar and he's just rolling over the top half of his back. Again try this for about 90 seconds. Another common test we use in screening our, our athletes and swimmers is the empty can test. So Ryan's going to demonstrate for us, he's going to bring his hands out on 45 degrees, flip his thumbs down, and we're going to apply gentle resistance without letting Ryan push us down. And this is just a pain or no pain test. And relax. So Ryan has no impingement, which is good to see. Any shoulder that causes that, any swimmer that has a shoulder drop their arm or present with pain means that they have a swimmer's shoulder or an impingement of supraspinatus, and we'll show you that corrective exercise now. So our corrective exercise for any impingements where we start is with some rotator cuff retraining. What Ryan's going to do with the TheraBand is just setting his shoulder down and back, maintaining elbow next to his body. He's just going to gently rotate his arm away and slowly return. So he's imagining if his arm was on a skewer stick and just rotating. What we're looking for is that his elbow doesn't drift outwards and shoulder doesn't drift up. So we're trying to retrain how the scapula works as well as how the rotator cuff group stabilises the shoulder in swimming. Starting off with two sets of 10 each side, building up as tolerated up to two sets of 50 before progressing. So our final test we're going to take you through today is just checking out the glenohumeral rhythm, or in layman's terms, how the shoulder blades move. So what Ryan's going to do is just with his hands by his side, he's just going to slowly take his arms out, right above head, and then return back down. So the first test we're going to do, we're going to do three of these in a row with no resistance and all we're looking for is if we can see a difference in right to left of how the shoulder blade moves. For any open water swimmers we're going to add some dumbbells to Ryan's hands and this is just to replicate the resistance that the wetsuit gives when our arms move through our swim stroke. And what we can see with Ryan is just a little bit of a different, um, different scapular return on the left, so a little bit of instability through this left side when we add the resistance after three reps. So for those that are swimming long distances, by the time we get to 1,000, 2,000 strokes, this is going to be more pronounced as well, which is going to add to that, that overuse potential injury. So if we're correcting scapular rhythm to correct our stroke and decrease our risk of injury, uh, we're going to use a fit ball and some dumbbells. So our first exercise that we're going to practice is a lion cobra. So we're looking to retract our shoulder blades. So trying to strengthen the muscles that live between the shoulder blades and the lower part of the thoracic spine. All Ryan's doing is pulling those shoulder blades down and back and we're 
we're trying to teach symmetry side to side. As a progression, we're going to and around the world. So we move from where our shoulder joint and shoulder girdle is quite stable and challenge it to above head. And again, these are going to be done under supervision, so making sure we can maintain that symmetry and the stability of the joint before we go back into an unstable position like swimming. So for swimmers and coaches, you can try a few of those basic screening tools with your athletes next week. For a more uh, in-depth assessment or periodised program for rehabilitation, injury prevention or improved performance, please contact us.